welcome back to Farmer Similar 19. Today we're back on Quad County map by Rockama. Just running some hay back with the 2020 John Deere. Let's see if we can get this wagon through this stall to feed the parlor cows. I didn't get a chance to do much with the 2020 last time around, so I thought I'd bring it back for the guys that like this tractor. I'm going to try to squeeze through here. I think it just fits through here. Now if we can get it to unload. There it goes. Oop. Well, they took most of that. I'm not going to try too hard here to get this backed up. I think we'll probably end up dropping it. I'm going to take the 2020 over and get a load of silage. Well, I actually made it out of there. He also got some Ford four-wheel drive tractors to show you guys. And the anhydrous applicator. Also have all the necessary things for making TMR over here. Brought in a smaller tipper to be able to load up here in the silo. Just top that off. There, now I can make more of the TMR. I think we'll feed these guys next. We haven't given them, given them anything yet. find their trigger here. I think it's over here.
All right, so we got a couple Ford FW60s out here. As close as I could come to a matching wagon. We'll do a little bit of carting for the John Deere. Ford four-wheel drives were actually made by Steiger for or Ford. Actually know more about the history of the engines in some of these Ford four-wheel drives. It's going to be a little tippy here because of the corn stalks. We can straddle them. My uh, great uncle had a Ford four wheel drive. It actually had the 903 Cummins in it. I also put 855 Cummins. And now we're hung up. These corn stalks. I think it's the wagon. There. Unfortunately, my great uncle's Ford actually had a hydraulic line from the articulating steering broke and uh, sprayed hydraulic oil on the exhaust manifold and ended up catching on fire. So they ended up having to get a different four wheel drive tractor. Hung up on a thing of corn stalks here again. Well, we could move on to our other board. I'll deal with this later. We have the duels on this one. Fortunately, the character is bald in the cab. I know this is by MK Customs. He said he couldn't figure out how to fix that. If anybody knows how, maybe give him a shout out and give him some help with that. We also got the DMI 11 shank plow here. This actually applies anhydrous. It does nine miles an hour. It's actually a pretty good match for the Ford This setup actually does like a double application of anhydrous or fertilizer. A 
In the earlier videos, I had tried a version of this EMI plow or cultivator, and it did not cooperate. So it's nice that I actually got a version that works. And I think we're hung up on corn stalks again. Oh man. Can't win with those today. I think we're just gonna plow those under. Yeah, get over on the side there. Try to. Well, we're not gonna let some corn stalks kick our ass here. Yeah, we'll have to pick up the rest of the corn stalks before we go through. Try plowing over there. Otherwise, this setup works really good, I think. We're going to see if we can help our... Other forward out here. Maybe knock them off those orange stalks. Try not to get caught up in the process here.
let this guy empty out. Do a little bit more chisel plowing. Yeah, actually it does it actually says 903 Cummins. I never noticed that before. Right on the valve cover there, the engine. Actually, I could talk about the, you know, get hung up here again. Talk a little bit more about the 903 Cummins. Remember, my dad had worked for a trucking company that had a truck that had one in it. At the time, it was a spare truck. My dad actually drove it a little bit. And I actually worked on them. Um, worked on one in uh, Voltec when I went to school for diesel mechanics. Remember one of the other classmates had gone through the turbocharger, which was one of the tasks we had to do on the motor. It was just the motor on the engine stand built for the running it. But uh, back then, their idea was after you put the turbo on, you'd actually hold the impeller still with the socket and ratchet till the oil pressure built up. Oh, well, when they started the engine up, the thing went wide open, was bumping up against the governor, and uh, the guy that was holding the Turbocharger shaft still and I'm getting blasted with the uh, black smoke <laughs> as the engine was bumping up against the governor. The bad part was I think I was the one that worked on the pump last. And I don't know what I did, but it's one of those things. Live and learn. <laughs> so that's my experience with the 903 Cummins. At least we got still we got a lot of and hydras left. I think that's going to do it for this time, guys. Hope you enjoyed the new Fords and bringing out the 2020 John Deere again. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you next time. <laughs>